Welcome everyone, I'm Ricky from Tech Talk and this is an important video that I always like to make. I have a passion for technology, as you know, but being visually impaired, accessibility is really key to me. Having the accessibility features on a device to use at all times is fantastic. So today, we've got the brand new Huawei P30 Pro and we're gonna put it through its paces, making sure it has all the accessibility features to make sure it's possible for you to use no matter your ability. So sit back and enjoy, and if you have any questions, drop a comment down below. To start off with, you don't actually need to even go into the menus even before actually using your first accessibility feature. So what you need to do is press and hold both volume keys and TalkBack will turn on and you can use that service. So let me show you. So down the right hand side, first of all, you're gonna notice your volume keys are at the top and then you've got your power button in the middle. The power button does have like a red shine through it, which is nice to identify that there is no textual difference, which is a shame. So if I press and hold both of these volume keys here together, talk back on. There we go. That's how simple and quick and easy it was to use. So talk back is a great feature. When you first do this for the first ever time, it will take you into a tutorial. So you can learn how to use talk back, the navigation, the tap system and how it works. But what it will do is actually read everything out aloud to me now. So if I want to know the time. Tuesday the 9th of April 1310. Touch to add city, current temperature. So I know the time, I know my location as well if I wanted to put in the weather. You could also do this for your widgets up here at the top. So I have my network ones up here at the top. 40 phone signal full, full Wi-Fi signal. So I have all them up there. I also have my battery. Battery 70%. And also again, 1310. I can get the time up there as well. Also, I've got all of my applications and I can go into an application. Gallery, double tap to activate, double tap and hold to long press. So you can either do a long press or you can double tap Portrait. to go in. Gallery, photos, double tap to activate. And as you can see, you can see all of my photographs in here. If I want to go home, home. Button. double tap. Huawei home, so double now. tap to activate, double tap and hold to long press. So you can navigate through your device with two fingers. Screen two of three. And then I've got all of my applications here. Facebook, Twitter, OneNote, Instagram. Screen one of three. And then to power off, just press and hold them volume keys again. Talk back off. Talk back is now off, but then you can use that device as much as you want. Also, you've noticed as well, the gesture control system has come back. When TalkBack is on, you get your three dedicated buttons down here at the bottom. So that's a really good feature and I really like TalkBack. Again, you can go into the menu, as I'm gonna show you now, and it's in the accessibility menu, but you could use that quick shortcut if you wanted to. And I think that's a really great feature that they have on these devices now. So to find all of your settings, what you need to do is tap on settings, which is the gear icon. Go all the way down to the bottom. They still put it near the bottom, which is a shame. So if we go down here at the bottom, and count four from the bottom, one, two, three, four. It's called Smart Assistant, it's orange in color. Tap on this, this is where you get a whole range of options, but the one we're gonna mainly look at is accessibility. I'm gonna go through all the options through that menu, but my main focus is accessibility, as you know. So at the top is Talk Back, and I've already gone through that, but you can go through that, you can set it up and use it how much you want to. Underneath that is a Select to Speak feature. So if I toggle this on, and I'm gonna hit OK, down here at the bottom, and you will need your menu options up for this to get this icon because you need this little accessibility man if i press him here then press play navigate up select to speak select to speak more settings about when select to speak is on you can tap specific items on your screen to hear them aloud so it will read through things that you specifically want it to read through so if i press it again then press up here select to speak it's just spoken what i've actually wanted it to speak Again, if I show you again and then go up here. 1314. It will just tell me what I've wanted to do instead of navigating and speaking everything back to you like TalkBack does. A lot of visually impaired people that do have a little bit of sight use this more than what they would talk back. Again, another great feature. And I'm really pleased to see it's on this device. Underneath that is text to speech. So inside here, this is where you can change your speech rate and your pitch. I can make it a little bit quicker here if I wanted to. I can change the pitch here depending on my choice. Also, you've got Google text-to-speech engine, and you have other options down here as well that you can change and adjust if you so want to, depending on your choice as well. It's all about your choice and making it your device. Underneath that is the ability to use mono audio if you prefer to listen in mono audio, or well, that is all you can hear. Underneath that is captions, and this is where you can caption certain stuff. So if I turn captions on here, you can see the subtitle box come up here. You can change and adjust your language. Obviously, you can then change other bits as well. You can have it small, 
you can have large depending on your choice and then you can have style as well so a lot of people prefer this option again very nice to see that inside here giving people the ability to use that underneath that is color correction so you can turn this on and then obviously you can go through the different color options here depending on your difficulty in seeing a color again it's really nice that they have these options inside here i'm going to just press cancel go back underneath that is magnification so if I turn on magnification, one, two, three, three quick taps brings up the large display here. And I've got actually white text on the black background because I've darkened the menu options. And that is a really good thing. And I will show you how to do that. So I can navigate around my device here. Very simple. I can pinch in as far as I want. One, two, three, and I'll come back. There is another way of doing this as well. If I do one, two, three, and then hold on the third one, I can then just navigate very quickly. It jumps in for you. When releasing, it'll jump back. Again, good options to have here. Underneath that is a large mouse pointer, so you can use a mouse pointer with this device if you struggle to use your fingers or hands to interact with your device. Underneath that is color inversion. So color inversion will take it back this way, but it will totally change the menu as well, so it makes the menu look very different here. If we come back in, go back here, and then if I toggle that off, it makes it a lot easier for me to read. Underneath that is high contrast text, so it makes the text a little bit bolder and a little bit easier to read as well. So you'll notice there, the actual underneath the text is a little bit easier to read, which is the main thing here. Underneath that is advanced visual effects. So if you toggle this off, when you get something, it just does it automatically. There's no sort of shuffle or no massive dramas about it. If I turn it on and then you'll see, there's nothing different, but it can reduce the uh, flash or like the pop of the device so it can help you if you want to do that also. So coming into interaction control options here you have switch access. This gives you the ability using switches and other devices to actually interact with your smartphone which is a great option and I'm really pleased to see that on here. So you could use game controls, you could use different interaction devices to interact with your device and I'm so pleased to see that on here. That's coming on to majority of devices now. You've got accessibility shortcut, which is set to talk back, and I showed you how to use that. You've got touch and hold delays. You've also got click after cursor stops moving. That's if you're using a mouse or using an interaction device. And then at the bottom, you've got power button to end call. So if I turn around to the right hand side, that's the one that has the red sort of mark through it and that's where you can use then to end your calls which is a great option so coming back so underneath accessibility is high touch so what this does it gives you the ability to do shopping either double tap on the screen and it will read the image that's on the screen and show you where it can be bought on amazon it only works through amazon or you can use the camera as well and it will go and find something for you you have one hand ui so one toggled on you can have one hand ui and if i swipe down here at the bottom there we go, it's down this side, or I can swipe and then go the other side as well. And there's two different options there to use, but obviously if I go home here, you can see I've got one hand UI, and I can navigate the majority of my screen here and move around if I so wish to, which is really nice and easy to do. So underneath that, you've got shortcuts and gestures. So you've got Google Assistant, which you can toggle on or off here, and that's when you press and hold the power button. You've got take screenshots, so inside here, this is where you double tap, you knuckle, there we go. And it'll take a screenshot for you. Quite cool gesture there. You've got record screen as well. This is where you use two knuckles. You've got split screen. This is where you draw a line. Draw a line like that. I can then choose an application here like Facebook. And then that will load my Facebook for me there. And then I can change and adjust the size of the grid as well. Again, very simple and very easy to do. You've got wake screen here, so this is where you raise it up and it'll wake it up to pick up and also double tap. So that will then wake up the device for me. So mute ringtone or reduce volume, this is where you flip it over. You can flip it over to reduce, which is a really cool feature. And then once you pick it up, it's gonna reduce the volume as well. Down at the bottom, you've got answer calls. So taking it to your ear will actually answer your call. Again, good options to use if you don't want to touch your device all of the time. Underneath that is voice control. So we've seen voice control again. You've got quick call in, 
answer calls with voice control. You've got voice broadcasting calls, so it will tell you. Uh, speech command language down here at the bottom, and offline broadcasting as well if you're in an area without signal. So loads of different options on here, and I really like that. Underneath that is a smart cover, so if you have a smart cover for your device, you can use a smart cover. You have mistouch prevention, so it will try and detect when you mistouch something up here. That's not as true as what I am doing going to touch down here again a good feature to have on in case you accidentally touch your device and you didn't mean to also you have glove mode so you can use gloves with your device and that's a really good thing and at the bottom you have schedule power on and off if you want to schedule a dedicated time for powering your device on and off without you actually powering it on and off all the time then at the bottom you've got system navigation i talked about this so i like the gesture so gesture control is really good and you can shows you how to use it so you can swipe to go back here it'll say swipe to go this way which is good but if you want to use any of the actual features that i showed you in accessibility you do need the three capacitive touch buttons along the bottom so pull and hold that will take you into your open applications so it's quite easy to use if you actually want to use any of the accessibility options you'll have to use the three key navigation down here at the bottom you can actually go in here and select which ones you want to use and obviously when you need a certain feature the accessible man will come up so loads of options on here and i'm so pleased to see that there's one final feature that i just want to talk about and i have previously mentioned that is the ability to darken the menu options inside your menu here as you can see mine is black with a white text and then obviously I've still got the same color app icons which is really good and I really like that it's just a shame again it's in a different location so what you need to do is go into battery and in battery if you come down here to the bottom you've got darken interface colors so once this is toggled off if I toggle this off it's just going to then go into this white and very bright and very vibrant sort of background which is okay but to be honest, I prefer the darken mode. It just makes it easier to use. It makes it easier to read as well. And it really works really well. And you get to see the same colors and no colors are distorted either. You get to experience your device, how Huawei wants you to experience and enjoy EMUI and obviously Android as well. I just want to take you into one other section and that is display. So inside display, which is here, is a green one. This is where you can change your brightness or you've got automatic brightness. You've got color mode and temperature, so you can change and adjust the color mode here. So it's a vivid at the moment, or you could go normal. The choice is yours and you can change and adjust this depending on what options that you want. Also inside here is sleep, so if you need a long time looking at your device, set it to 10 minutes and then obviously that will impact on your battery but you can then look around your device without actually going to sleep which could be a little bit annoying also under here is eye comfort as it has the two Vryland actual certification use that it helps with your eyes and you can have the night mode as well where it really dims the blue lights and you can actually enjoy your device then you have text and display size i really wish that this was in the um, accessibility options text size and then you have windows up here at the top where you can see and also you have display size which could be a little bit bigger as well and you can choose which ones you want to use and again you have presets here to look at beforehand so I could take the text down really small you can go smaller as well if you want if you want to make it smaller you can do the choices are yours and I really do like they give you so many choices so screen resolution so I've got mine set to smart you can have it set to HD plus or FHD plus choices are yours to choose from also one other thing to just finish off is simple mode so you can have simple mode here and if I enable so it makes it very basic and very easy to do making the icons a lot bigger takes away a lot of the applications as well so it makes it quite simple and very easy to use again a good feature for people that, who are elderly and maybe wanting a more easier device to use through and move through but to turn this off we're going to go into settings come down to the bottom so in more settings here go back into display go into simple mode and exit we're going to exit out of simple mode here now we're back into our normal accessibility options here that we can use so let's go back in we're going to go back into display you've got an always on display which is really good so if i lock my device here you can see the time i can see my battery percentage and also i will see notifications that come up so a quick tap of that fingerprint sensor which is lightning fast you're back in again so many options inside here depending on your ability and your features that you need there should be enough on here. If you do have any questions, please drop a comment down below. As you know, I'm always happy to help and I'm always willing to talk so much about accessibility because accessibility is key on these devices so everyone gets to use them. They are fantastic devices. 
if you love photography, if you just want a great screen to look at, or just the latest model to show off to everyone and to enjoy. These devices do make it possible for people no matter their ability, but also you need to know how to do it. Thanks always for watching, and if you do have any questions, drop a comment down below. I'll be more than happy to help. Thanks always for watching, and if you're new to Tech Talk, hit subscribe and ring that notification bell, and you'll be notified as soon as a new video is launched. From me, Ricky, I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.